Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are continuing our adventure in the Washita National Forest as we explore in the Jeep Cherokee Trail Hawk while it is raining. This video, we leave the rock wall and waterfall that we found in the last video. I'll leave the link in the description to the playlist for this series. There will be a lot of photos from here on out in the next few videos on this adventure, mainly due to lighting. In this video, we find a awesome campsite, dispersed of course, right on the side of a deep swim hole. Somebody has built a platform that you can jump into the water off of, and there's also a rope swing that someone has installed. There is a rock firing and at the time that we were there it was full of beer cans. People really need to clean up after themselves. Respect nature. Okay, I actually saw this little road. I pulled up so I'd be out of the road because as muddy as it was, I didn't want to drive down it. Pretty steep. Wouldn't be no issue for the Jeep, but I don't even know if you're supposed to drive down here. It looks like it comes down to a campsite, so I guess you can. I didn't know how muddy it'd be. So far, everything seems just fine. And it is an awesome campsite. Oh, look at the trash. There's I, no way I can haul that stuff off. You people got to get your trash and take it with you. This is ridiculous. Uh, no way I can take that with me. But look, there's a thing there they built to jump off in the water. Swing up there. There's a little diving board. The water must be pretty deep. Look at the rock back up in there. up in their ways. Looks like it's just a deep swim hole. Alright, I'm going to go back to the Jeep. As we continue this adventure, we do explore this little dispersed campsite. And then we will continue from there down the beautiful forest roads. And we're going to end this little video at another dispersed campsite. It's basically just a place you could pull in and stay overnight if you so chose. When we leave that campsite in the next video, we're going to stop at a beautiful pond area and I believe you could camp there too if you wanted to there's a dispersed campsite area it looks like uh, with a fire ring and that will be in the next video so stay tuned for that the fall colors are beautiful none of the roads that we traveled are technical uh, there were some small water crossings some of the areas are kind of uh, slushy uh, mud was not an issue big deep ruts was no issue uh, typical forest roads you're going to get your vehicle dirty when you travel them uh, 
pretty much if they're dry or wet. But it's a really nice drive. Two-wheel drives could do uh, this part of the National Forest probably without any problem until you get to some of the areas that's closer to the Petite Jean Mountain Peak area. Uh, going up in there, we did run across some mud, and I was glad that we had a all-wheel drive. And stay tuned for the next videos. Uh, like I said, we have a pond area coming up. We have uh, coming over some higher elevation through the Washita National Forest, and we hit some fog while we're up there. So that's all to come. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out a whole lot. And we really appreciate the subscribers that uh, take the time to click that button.